Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Lavise Lavise Romantic Home and happy Valentine's Day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys six DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. So I'd love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now today is the official day of celebrating love, but I feel like you can celebrate love every single day and share your smile and share your gifts and no matter where you're at. Get up, show up, and keep going. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafty. For this first Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna share with you guys how to make a super easy kind of little spring summer centerpiece. So from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed this Buffalo Check Plaid charger. And you can see I've used it for a couple of other crafts, and excuse my missing nail, but I just popped some styrofoam into the center of it, hot glued that down, and then Dollar Tree is carrying these super adorable um, little garden signs. This one says Garden of Whedon. Oh my my gosh I think that's so cute such a fun little play on words and now I'm just going to take these little eucalyptus branches and I found these off of Amazon and you know what I don't think these are eucalyptus anyway they're these cute little greenery pieces and I just pop them into the front of my little centerpiece and then I'm adding some of these pretty roses in and I still do have styrofoam off to the back so I want to cover that by using more greenery pieces and these greenery picks came in a bag of roses and some greenery if you go on Amazon and just type in you know roses bundles you can find all different styles of roses in different colors whatever suits your fancy I don't think these were very expensive maybe um, $12 for a bag of you know 14 or 20 I don't know they were a great deal now they did come on a shorter stem so keep that in mind um, to check the sizes and whatnot and also try not to be disappointed if you order something and it doesn't quite come as appeared I know you guys have probably had that happen as well I know I've ordered things and been like whoops I really don't think this is what I ordered or it was much smaller than anticipated or whatnot so anyway we're just going to finish covering the back part of our little centerpiece and another fun idea would be to take this little sign and you know make maybe make like a bridal or baby shower sign and then do a little beautiful floral It'd be a really nice elegant centerpiece here is how it came out our little garden of Whedon sign I did put it on that fun little farmhouse style charger I think that's really versatile and gives it a little bit more of a casual rustic flair um, again you could use any little sign and Dollar Tree's always carry those little small signs that are kind of hanging with three or four on them and you're always kind of wondering well, what could I do with them I always tell you guys to grab those because they're more bang for your buck to be completely honest with you um, but this is a fun and fabulous little idea that you all can execute on a budget. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys a hack on how you can use those little Dollar Tree signs that are always kind of shorter. If you want them to stand up and be um, more of a shelf sitter sign, you can hot glue them to back of one of those Dollar Tree um, chalkboards. So these are going to, the chalkboards come in the crafter square section. They'd be fun to, you know, add a little saying to the top of this, but I decided to make this bloom, especially since it says bless my garden. So I'm just going to take some of these little greenery pieces and hot glue them to the back of the sign. Um, I did have to cut some of them a little bit shorter, but Dollar Tree carries tons of fun greenery, or you can even pick some up online. Again, I feel like this is a great little Little hack because I'm always finding the hanging signs at Dollar Tree and they'll have like three or four little mini signs like this hanging 
and it doesn't always suit my fancy to hang them on the wall always. I always think some of them would just be much more of a statement piece to take them apart and add them into a wreath or a garland, but this was a fun idea on how to make a shelf sitter um, garden sign. Mm. I also decided to really make it bloom with these roses. Again, I found these on Amazon, so fun. And I'm gonna pop these in here and I'll try to add some links for the roses into my Amazon store if I remember to do that for you guys. But you can easily go on Amazon too and type in a pack of roses and you'll find some different options, tons of different colors. And here is how it turned out. I have this um, off to the side of a mirrored tray with a little candle in the background and a lamp and then um, a pretty bridal bouquet that I'm going to share with you guys how to do later in this video. It's spring and all the brides are popping out um, as far as, you know, I have friends and family getting married. So what a blessing to start a new life with someone that you would love, cherish, and adore. But again, a cute little bless your garden sign on a budget. For this next DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can take a couple of bundles of florals and zip tie them together. So these are just some rose, roses stems that I found on Amazon. I'll try to link some in my store for you guys. But you take them and you just take the stems, bundle them together, and then zip tie them. And you guys can make an easy little bridesmaid bouquet or bridal bouquet. Now this is something quick and easy. I know some of them can be very intricate and lovely but if you're maybe just needing something quickly or you just want something as decor this is not a bad idea now the only thing with this is those little zip tie chunks were kind of standing out so if you needed to take a little bit you might want to take a little bit more time and wrap it with wire but boy those zip ties are really going to hold things together now I'm just going to take some leftover gold Christmas ribbon and this is a fairly light gold it's not very sparkly but it does have a bit of shimmer to it I thought it would be perfect perfect to create this little bridal bouquet and so I just hot glued the ends of it and then pinched it together to where you couldn't see the greenery part and then I'm just going to wrap 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 all the way around you guys can use satin ribbon and you can get ribbon really inexpensive at your local craft store and I recommend you know shopping their sales a lot of times Michaels will put their ribbon 40 to 50 percent off and then that is the time that you really want to take advantage of it so you can sign up online for emails that have sales um, same with Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby will put their wedding section 40 50 percent off so keep an eye out for that now we're gonna make a quick little Olivia bow you just take and you loop the ribbon over on itself I did that six times to where I had three loops on each side and then you can trim that off. Now really you can loop it over as much as you want, but this is gonna create a nice full little fluffy bow. And for a bridal bouquet, you probably don't want a bow this full, so you'd wanna stop at one or two loops. But for me, I'm just going to be setting this out as a decor. I am not a bride right now, um, or do I plan to be one in the near future? Or maybe I do, I don't know. I'm just teasing, but I am gonna go ahead and tie this off with another piece of ribbon and then pull those little loops out and so then you're gonna have a beautiful little bow I think it's so elegant and just a lovely little romantic touch now if you all love romance like I do you probably want bridal things sitting out all the time um, I know I've always cherished those mementos in my life and now I'm just going to kind of twisty tie um, the little uh, tails around and then I'm going to take this beautiful jewel now I love the crafting jewels from totallydazzle.com my dear friend Natalie has the most beautiful site she's a small business I highly recommend her jewels they're beautiful they come a lot of them come on a brooch they're so inexpensive from all of the fancy decor I used to do for my ladies on Etsy and I would add really beautiful jewels to their projects um, they loved that, but let me tell you, it definitely drove the cost up on being able to resell those and keep a nice um, profit. But this is a fun little um, bouquet on a budget. Mm -hmm. 
Now for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to make a quick and easy little jewelry stand. So you can take two plates, and I chose these marble plates, and they're actually more of a plastic plate. Um, but I have seen Dollar Tree carry the marble glass plates as well. And I'm just going to take this little candlestick, flip it upside down so you have more room around the base of your little jewelry stand. And then I'm going to add hot glue around the top. Now for video purposes, I'm using hot glue, but I do encourage you all to use a strong bonding glue for this. I um, think super glue, Gorilla Glue, or E6000 would be really good because then it's going to hold your stand together really well but again for video purposes to make it go quickly I'm just going to use the hot glue now I'm using one of these little Dollar Tree vases these come in the candle section is actually where I found mine and I'm just going to pop it on to the top of the tray and so what my idea for this was is you could use bracelets to um, put on your little vase or you can use some pretty florals in the top of the vase or both. Put your decorative plate bracelets on there. Now, if they're ones that you're gonna use all the time, you don't wanna pop them onto here. You just wanna put them around the tray area. But I think this is a really fun little idea on a budget and just think you can customize this idea to any style of decor that you're using in your powder room or on your vanity table. You can choose any color of plate from really anywhere. You can get vintage rose plates from the thrift store or a flea market or a nice antique store. You could use a beautiful teal plate. However you have decorated your home and you need a little jewelry tray, um, I recommend this. It's so budget friendly and trays can be so expensive. Um, and then I'm just sharing with you guys some of the pretty little jewels. These are from totallydazzle.com. Again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below for Natalie's site and she is so such a doll. She's a small business. She has the most beautiful jewels. They're so price friendly. She does tons of giveaways and um, they're just such a doll. So here's one kind of up close. Look at how beautiful and sparkling and detailed that is. And they're literally so inexpensive. I'm telling you guys, they're so beautiful and well made and dainty and oh my goodness I just I love Natalie I love her stuff so check out the link in my description box if you guys um, want to to go find her goodies and tell her I said hi and she has so many beautiful jewels to choose from bling wrap all kinds of just elegant elegant goodies Now for this next DIY, I'm going to take these two cute little Dollar Tree, they're just little signs and they're for the bathroom, but I'm not going to be using these in my bathroom. What I thought would be fun to do would be to make them into little kitchen stands. So you can just take one of the little Dollar Tree candlesticks, pop it on to the base of your sign, flip it over, and you have a little flat um, stand and you guys if you have been following me for a while you know I love to do layers of decor and stands are definitely part of those layers you can put so many fun decorative items on these stands you could even put some little you know tray goodies if you had some little uh, candies that were wrapped or whatnot now I'm going to take the original sign and cover those blank spaces with some pretty paper so I just took the original sign and cut around it I wasn't super specific I probably could have taken a little bit more care with this but it worked out fine you could mod podge this or if you're a quickie lady like me you just want to go ahead and add some hot glue on there and then pop that little floral scrap piece on there and boom you have kind of a Mackenzie Childs inspired little stand um, I love how Mackenzie Childs uses checker check patterns along with their floral patterns if you have not heard of them go check them out she does really nice high-end designs and there's a whole backstory to Mackenzie Child as well that I absolutely respect and adore their art and it is quite a story I will tell you that I remember when I first stumbled upon it I was like oh my goodness I'm always a fan of artists and I know artists have a hard time sometimes in the world marketing themselves or even managing things but I really truly believe they have such a talent and was so inspired by so many of their pieces that they originally created and they have such a delightful little love story as well 
So I am then popping another floral piece onto here and there is how you have that. So fun, fabulous, on a budget, and it just took a little sign, some pretty paper, and a candlestick, and you guys can have some risers to use as decor, and you guys could paint over these. You could do really so many different things, so I just popped my little Mackenzie Child's teapot onto here, and then some fake muffins, and I do have the fake muffins linked in my Amazon store for you guys to go check out, um, but as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video, and which one will you be recreating? On my Instagram story, I shared something about um, the art of the soul um, being love. And if love is the art of the soul, I feel like compassion um, is the paintbrush. And I feel like kindness is the paint. So drop a comment down below and let me know how you all love the people. In so for this Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to make some giant oversized Mackenzie Childs inspired heart wreath ornaments. Okay, so from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab some of their oversized styrofoam hearts. And I'm just taking this paper and this is from Hobby Lobby. This was the only little sheet that I had left of this paper. So I had to very really gently cut the this out and make sure it fit kind of down inside of the wreath form but think about this you guys can paint these little styrofoam wreaths you can do pretty much anything you want with them to customize them and suit your fancy what I'm creating mine for is a big giant Valentine's Day Christmas tree and I cannot wait to share with you guys how this is going to come out it's probably going to take me all weekend to create the um, decorations for it but I know it's going to be well worth it okay so if you don't have the paper from Hobby Lobby you can always use the Dollar Tree contact paper. I had this left over from some of my Christmas crafting. So again, I'm just going to trace the heart out. You want to trace it out and then hot glue it to the back of your styrofoam heart. And you guys can paint these. You can use floral print. I would, I also thought it'd be fun to use lace, but basically you can create any heart that you want to make and just make it look customized with any paper that you want to put on the backing. Another idea is to use fabric, and I'll share that with you guys in a video later Later in this video. Um, so what you're going to do is just, again, hot glue that to the back of the heart, and I'm going to play some music so you guys can watch me craft. And here is how these super cute heart wreath forms turned out. I think they're absolutely adorable and so fun and fabulous, very budget friendly and very customizable as well. Here's Benji Bear. He is so much of a little stinker and cantankerous and he's playing with this pillow. Um, and I just know that we have some super Benji Bear fans out there. So I try to always make sure I pop a cute little clip of him in there. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia's Olivia's Romantic Home. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now it's Valentine's Day. I dressed up for you guys. I thought you would enjoy that. And it just kind of made me think, you know, sometimes we get a little bit down and sometimes all we need to is to get up and dress up and show up. So no matter where you're at, no matter what you're going through, I hope you get up and dress up and show up. Even if you're pulling out your bestest dress to hang out with your dog 
and um, some crafts and what kind of stuff like that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is just do your best. Put on your best, get out your best, Tina, and keep going because we only have this one life and sometimes we only have this one day. So if God has given you a gift of another day, you've opened your eyes and you're like, ah, what am I to do today, Lord? Well, bless someone with some friendship, bless someone with some smile, breath, bless someone with a hug or some joy or some love. Reach out and share all that love that's in your heart. Now, always I want to remind you too, to be kind online. You're on a social media platform because you're watching this video. So um, you guys have a comment section. You guys can light up this comment section with positivity, joy, love. And hey, listen, since it is February 14th, Valentine's Day, how about we put our favorite love quote in the comment section below or scripture, or just say something sweet and loving. So when people are scrolling through, we'll see that and it will bless um, everybody around us. So anyway, when I say be kind online, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, any kind of social media, give somebody's post a heart, a like, um, comment down below. Listen, we just need more joy and positivity in this world. And this is moving to more of an online world. So put that out there, you guys, don't be afraid. Um, and remember, if you see something you don't like, just keep on scrolling. You don't always have to comment. You can hide that person's post or you can just keep moving and say a little prayer for them. So anyway, I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. I'm actually on my little knee scooter. <laughs> Um, I shared with you guys that I broke my ankle and it is still broken. I am going to the orthopedic surgeon on Wednesday. So we're going to see how that goes, whether or not I have to have surgery. I bedazzled my boot. I want to share that with you guys in a video. I did video it kind of, it's not the best. And I use mostly Dollar Tree supplies to do that. So anyway, um, I just want to tell you guys I love you. I want to just reach around and hug all of your hearts so tight. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me through this injury. Um, it's been... This is going to be my fifth week, I think. <laughs> so anyway, but listen, no matter where you're at, again, get up, show up, and keep going. I dressed up for you guys because I love you, and I want to share my love and joy with you. And I have been watching so many DIYs for Easter and even some St. Patrick's Day stuff coming up. So look for that on my channel. Hopefully, I'll be able to put out some new content. I'm going to try to work up a space that hopefully I can get back to do some crafting. So anyway, I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed Valentine's Day, blessed week, blessed day. And until my next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.